welcome to NLM. We are happy to introduce our tap density apparatus model micro TDKL50. Let's introduce me the parts which are supplied with the instrument. First of all, main instrument. It will be supplied with 250 ml and 100 ml cylinders. Then cylinder holders for 250 ml and 100 ml cylinders. Instruction manual and power supply core. These are the main parts which will be supplied with the instrument. Now let us install all the accessories with the main instrument. First of all, plug in the instruments with the main supply. Please check that the power supply should be 230 volts AC. Having a proper ground, it should be a three less than three volts between neutral and earth point. And Please check, it should be, it is very essential to have 3 volts between, 3 or less than 3 volts between earth and neutral. So let's start with the power on of the instrument. We will switch on the instrument and then the instrument will show the manufacturer name, make, model, version number, its serial number and instrument ID. This will be the home screen for the instrument. And now we will install the accessories one by one. This is the first holder of 250 ml. This is the second holder. Now we will install the cylindrical flasks. So as you can see the frost measuring cylinder is being installed now. Now we will install another one, 100 ml measuring cylinder. This is how it is, we need to install the cylinders. Now let's check the overview of the keypad. This is basic alphanumeric keypad which is almost self explanatory. These are the other command functions for print, save mode, escape and etc. These are the shortcut keys which will be used to run the instrument which we will discuss further in the video. Now let's start with assigning the method which we have created. So that's a shortcut button on the keypad for assigning the method. So when we'll, we will press the button, the instrument will prompt for entering the method number which you have previously created. Right now I have created second number method. So I'll press 0 to then when, when I will press the enter, the instrument will show the method name and it will ask to enter the sample weight. I have already done the weight of the sample, so I will enter the same using this keypad. Now we will press enter. So these are basically the first 10 steps for settling the sample. Now instrument is asking to write the initial volume as you can see the initial volume is 118 ml so we'll mention the same so now we'll enter the initial volume which is 118 ml we'll press enter the instrument will ask you to confirm the initial weight and we will start by pressing the enter key.
so the instrument has done 150 taps and now it is asking to write down the volume so let's just note the volume now as you can see it is 110 ml so i will mention the same this process will go on till the difference between the volume is more than 2 ml once the volume is less than 2 ml then the next step process will not be asked i will press the enter button so the next number of taps will start Now after 550 taps, my instrument is once again asking to enter the sample volume. So as you can see the sample volume is 90 ml. So we'll enter the same. And we'll press enter after that. So now we will start with creating a method. First you need to go into mode button. Then you will need to select method. There are three different options. To create a method, print the methods which are already saved or to view and delete them. We will create the method. It will ask for a four digit password. So there are different options, four different options. We will select number one which is USP one. Then it will ask for number of taps for USB 1 and USB 2. We can edit each of these taps. If we press enter, 
these are different type options available we will select all of them you can also edit these steps for example you can tap this select from number 11 to 500 tabs right now we will select 150 tabs for example so you can press enter you can also select third one it can be selected from 500 to 750 so we will select 500 for example basically these are the type of options as you can see the range is of 500 1 to 750 so the 500 value was rejected so we can select for example i keep 550 so it will take it i will also select the remaining of four tabs so as you can see the star marks all the tab options are selected if i press the button now enter then it will ask for the method name right now i have written double a as a method name it can be alphanumeric name i will press enter and this will be the kind of option which is available to save the method it is name of method store in method number two if we need to save it we can press enter now we will save the method so the instrument will come back and you can view this the stored method as you have seen that the method was stored in second number so i will press 0 to press enter so you can see what all methods have been created here that is the name of method is a this is type of usp usp1 is type for 250 types it is of 3mm height so these are certain options which are selected for type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 which we have edited previously and all this method can be printed deleted or we can run for the analysis part so now we'll do the analysis so let's first start with the mode button what are the certain options available in the mode so there are four different things first of them is method so method will be used to create print or view or delete the methods this is these are basically the different types of analysis method which will be used second one is analysis data in this particular model it, uh, it has a facility to store thousand data and of analysis so we can uh, we can view this analysis data from here the analysis data can be viewed in the form of and can be sorted in the form of batch number either by scrolling or you can directly select record number or you can scroll by date these are the options available for viewing the data analysis data the next option which we have is utilities these are multiple settings available of the instrument that is measure tap height date and time setting of the instrument printer setting department setting name id instrument id all these things can be updated from this menu this is for software update etc and the next is service menu so as you can see this will ask for the password so basically this menu is for either for the manufacturer or the service person it is not used by user these are the options for mode function So now the instrument is asking for the sample volume. It's somewhere around 85. So I will mention 85 ml. So it is still the same 
zero eight four. So these are the results. Basically, it is a bulk density which is measured in gram per ml. Tap density is also shown here. Hausdorff ratio, compressibility, bulk density. So these are the options which are available. If you want to see the data, then we can press enter. So we need to answer the username. Right now, I will write. some arbitrary number this can be alphanumeric once i will press enter the result will be saved and it will also mention the record number so all this data have been saved if you have printer attached then you can directly print by clicking on here or if you want to just quit the analysis now so you can press escape the instrument will be written back to the home screen so this is this is how the analysis is done in the TDKL50 model of tap density apparatus and adapt scientific instruments.